Hey guys, today we're taking the 8 terabyte Seagate expansion. We're gonna pull it apart and extract the internal hard drive. Why do you wanna do this? Well, these drives are cheaper than buying the internal version, but you will lose the warranty, so keep that in mind. Also, there's no guarantee as to which drive you're gonna get, so this is a surprise. We will find out soon what is inside. I got this drive on Black Friday and it arrived today. It cost me, after all the discounts, only 180 Australian dollars and converted that's 130 US dollars, so a pretty good price. So what you need to do is you need to find one of the corners and uh, basically wedge a tool in here to loosen it up. I'm going to use this tool. This is actually a sticker removal tool, but it works really well for this task. I'll have a look if I find this tool on eBay or on AliExpress and I will put some links down below in the uh, description. So yeah, we just uh, put it in here and then what we do is we just go to one side and we just slide it to the left. Like that. And you hear you could hear these clicks. That means that it's getting released. So we gotta continue now uh, on the other side. And there's one more to go. And we should now be able to pull back the cover. Just like that. And let's have a look. We can see that a few of these uh, did break off, but in my case, I don't care. I just want the drive. I'm not really interested in putting this back together. And here we can see the back of the drive. We can see these blue rubber bits here. And really, we just need to uh, lift it out. So just put a screwdriver in here and it will uh, slowly come out. Just be careful that you don't tip it over. And here it is. And next, we're just gonna remove all these uh, plastic bits all around the drive. We can see there are some screws here, so we're just gonna unscrew all of them. And we're almost done. There's one more screw here that we need to loosen for the board. And that should come out. Let's have a look. There's some tape that we need to remove. Like that. And there's the board. And we're done. Here's the hard drive ready to be used. And here we have the hard drive. It's a Barracuda Compute, and here's the model number. I'm quickly gonna look it up and see if I find anything interesting. Had a look at the data sheet. Seems to be a standard drive with 5,400 RPM, but up to 190 megabytes per second of transfer rate, which is pretty good. And luckily, it ended up not being one of those archive SMR drives, which I'm pretty happy about. So guys, there you have it. 130 US or 180 Aussie and you got yourself a 8 terabyte internal hard drive. Hopefully you found it useful. Any comments and suggestions, leave them down below as always, and I shall see you soon with another one.